many of you may know the feeling of being held at a standard that you can't possibly keep. You may know how it feels to be struggling in a subject at school and try as you might, you can't reach your parents' expectations for your grades. Maybe you have too many duties piled on you at work and you simply can't get everything done on time. This feeling of never measuring up to the standards set by your peers is crushing and overwhelming. To have the end goal explained to you over and over, but you have never been able to get close to what is desired. If any of this sounds familiar to you, then you have some idea how many content creators feel in their role as influencers. Once you pass a certain level of followers, you begin to feel the pressure of everyone putting unrealistic expectations on you and not once given the chance to screw up or to learn from the mistakes. You are held at a standard of perfection, a person that never makes a mistake and has never done anything wrong in the past. No one likes being held at a quality they can never reach. To those who find themselves in the role of content creator, they feel they have no other choice but to keep up this image. Why? Because if their followers even see the smallest crack, the tiniest dent, it's over. The creator is put on blast for not being this perfect creation that has done no wrong. Today, let's explore the negative side of climbing to fame on the internet. Despite most people being able to relate to the feeling of dread, of failing the people that desire high results from them, so many people on the internet completely fail to see their favorite influencer as an actual human with real feelings, real thoughts, someone who laughs, cries, makes mistakes, sometimes big ones. Why we see these people as nothing more than entertainment ready for consumption is a, a little scary. All these really real people with lives outside of the character you see on the screen that makes you laugh, helps you learn, entertains you. How many have failed their audience's standards and never returned to the screen? How many just got so tired of being this person that wasn't real and just disappeared one day never to be seen again? I don't believe the intention was to abandon everyone that looked up to them. I know it's the pressure of being something no one can truly be and it breaks them down over time and it's only a matter of time before they can't take it anymore. And you know what? I don't blame the creators for getting out after a while. When it stops being fun, when it stops being enjoyable for them because they know if something goes wrong, no matter how small, it can destroy them. It may even make its way into their offline life and they simply can't risk it. And for many, their mental health becomes worse and worse until they have no other choice but to get out or step back. There is no one to blame for the list of broken content creators out there except the viewers. Take some responsibility for once and look at how a community treats their idol. It always starts out innocent and fun and full of love and appreciation, but sooner or later that idol isn't viewed as a person anymore and they can be treated so terribly by the people that claim to love them so much. Now, this should go without saying, but this doesn't really apply to creators that commit really bad offenses or crimes. However, when it comes to those creators, what does apply to them is just because you are held at a high regard as an influencer does not make you a good person by default. Anyone can get lucky or do the right things and become a content creator, a successful one. That does not make them a person that won't do bad things. Never assume someone's character based on the following. They are a stranger to you like everyone else on the internet and you should be treating them as such while consuming their content. While the same impossible standards are given to these people as the innocent ones we were just chatting about, the difference is these people were bad to begin with or did something wrong along the way. I'm also not saying that it should be a get out of jail free card because you were under the pressure of being a content creator and that's why you did the bad thing. No. You're still responsible for your actions and because of that, whatever you choose to do throughout your life will reflect on you. 
Your mistakes, being on blast because you have a following, is a consequence most people do not have because they are pretty much invisible to the world. I'm never going to sit here and tell you to forgive a creator for a crime because they were under pressure. However, I will beg you to stop breaking the people in these roles by expecting them to be the perfect person. For many who have built a platform, content creation has become their job, their livelihood. It is no longer a hobby that they just do because they enjoy doing it. Therefore, I find it incredibly sad to know these people struggle with their mental health because of their jobs. No one's job should be so demanding that they become sick while doing it. Many creators are amazing people, but they are just that, people. People like you and me who just want to have some fun, enjoy life, make friends, and just live. Content creation usually becomes a job by mistake. It isn't normally chosen. It just works on accident. While you may feel you know everything there is to know about that person you look up to, you may feel they are perfect and have always been perfect. But remember, the same way that you are a complete stranger to them, they are a stranger to you. You can't really know who they are when the camera is off. I'm going to tell you a little story about a creator I won't name. They were a really popular RuneScape streamer slash YouTuber back in the early days. That's the only context required for the story. Me? Well, I'm just a kid at the time, around 11 or 12. I played RuneScape every day after school, but to most people, I was definitely not playing the game correctly. <laughs> nope, every day I would kill cows outside of Lumbridge, cook meat, drop the meat, and repeat. That's it. That was what I loved to do <laughs> on the game. One day though, another player came over and asked to join me. I said, sure, and we hung out that day. When he left, he gave me a few coins. A few days later, he was back. We hung out, he left, he gave me a few coins again. This went on for a few weeks. While one day, my brother was looking at my account and was making fun of me for only having one person on my friends list. When he hovered his mouse over the name and revealed a name change, my brother started asking all kinds of questions about how I knew this person and why on earth I was friends with them. I told him how we killed cows together and chatted. My brother logged onto his own account and went to talk to the friend who he knew was one of the biggest RuneScape content creators at the time. My friend asked him how he knew who he was with the name change and when my brother explained his connection to me, my friend started opening up to my brother about what was going on. He explained how he had been roaming a free-to-play world a few weeks back and saw me killing cows, cutting a tree, cooking the meat, and repeating the process. He found my way of playing the game interesting and asked to join me. He knew within minutes I didn't know who he was and we became genuine friends. He loved how I found enjoyment in the simple task in the game rather than the grind to be the best that everyone else seemed to be on, himself included. He explained to my brother how players that meet him normally ask for massive amounts of coin, but he loved how excited I got when he gave me just a few each time we played together. He then started explaining to my brother how tired he was of being this famous person on the game, how he just wanted to be normal and treat it like everyone else. And the only time he got that was when he was with me, just to be treated like a normal player, not to be asked for gear or coins, just to enjoy the game, whatever that means for each player. Everyone is so focused on being the best that they don't actually enjoy playing anymore. He told my brother that he wasn't to tell anyone of the new name he was using and that he was getting out of the public eye, stepping back and trying to just be no one. My friend was the perfect example of how someone who hadn't made a mistake, hadn't been cancelled, or hadn't received hate could become so worn out, so mentally tired of never being able to enjoy the thing that he once loved because people just wouldn't leave him alone. He just wanted to play the game like everyone else and that's the one thing he couldn't have. I saw him less and less after that. He stopped coming online altogether after a while. I think he just decided for himself that if he wanted to be normal, he had to leave the place that caused him to feel anything but. I'm telling you this story because I've seen firsthand what happens to these creators if they never get a break. If they're never given space or the freedom to be human too, they get exhausted, they crack, and they break. I know it's everyone's dream to meet or be friends with their favorite creators, but the next time you see someone you look up to being overcrowded or they appear stressed or tired, please be a part of the solution. Give them space. Let them breathe. Give them the freedom to be a person just like you. I can assure you that is the one thing they long for, and they will appreciate that space so much. The chance to make a mistake and fix it like everybody else. A chance to enjoy things without being crowded like everyone else. A chance to be. 
like everyone else. Content creators are not on the job all the time. Let them have time to recharge, rest, be out of view, at peace, and of course, feeling safe. Let them be themselves. Thanks for dropping by the den, everyone. I've seen a lot of people bringing up this topic lately, and since it was on my mind too, I tweeted about it actually, if you follow me over there. Just the idea of these people losing so much of themselves along the way breaks my heart to think about. I want to see a change in the way that creators are viewed. I know it's not gonna happen overnight, and I know it's going to be difficult to change, but I truly believe the cycle can be broken. Creators don't have to give up their mental health to be successful. I know there's another way and we can be the change that needs to happen as always hatchlings have a wonderful day and i will see you all next time how many who have built a platform content creation has become their job that's not that's not the line